a historian of religious imagery, which can include non-artistic or like unconventional artistic objects. And I think that my field needs to embrace the Shroud of Turin, because as my book shows, um, there's a lot of interweaving between the history and the emergence and the conceptualization of the Shroud of Turin in the Renaissance and Baroque period. Um, there's a lot of interweaving of that with the more mainstream um, artistic culture of Renaissance and Baroque Italy. So really my impetus with the Shroud was I want to learn more about it, but I also want to demonstrate that um, you know, it is really open for serious academic scholarship from an historical point of view. We don't always have to think only about the contemporary question of authenticity. Yeah, it, very interesting. And I like your point, too, about uh, whether it's authentic or not, it certainly had an enormous impact on, on art and all of the different references that you had, uh, uh, you know, to the different paintings of it uh, being included and the copies being made and things like that. Just uh, absolutely fascinating.